Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single person that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to all the MCs and my guy Showtime SP. So let's get it started. Dearly departed. Uh, so Sue Surf and Jack Boy Maine had an interesting conversation today, whether it be about careers, status. And most notably, Sue Surf's latest battle with Cortez. So, the battle with Cortez came out, and a lot of people had their opinions on it. For most of the polls and recaps and things like that, people have Sue Surf winning a 2 1 battle, but it was closer than some people gave credit for. Then you have a group of people who feel like Cortez won, and then you have the people who overtly feel like Sue Surf. 3-0 body bag, nothing close. Now, I've already gave my opinion when it comes to the recap and who I felt like won and things like that. It's on the channel, it's on the channel. So Sue Surf comes out today and it was a series of tweets between him and Jack Boy Maine. So Jack Boy Maine, Sue Surf, and Bill Collective. The three-headed monster collectively started the ultimate, not ultimate, the Midnight Madness. You got Midnight Madness, Ultimate Madness, Madness, I'm strapped in. All these madnesses, this, this, this. So they start Midnight Madness, which was supposed to, which is bringing back the essence of battle rap, money on the floor. They got a whole bunch of belts. We got this nigga with the, with the hardcore belt, this belt, the Taco Bell belt. There's a belt for every fucking thing, right? And then, you know, the belts had sprung up a lot of controversy recently because, you know, Snake Eyes and them had the situation with the belt. And then Stumbles runs around. He's taking pictures with the belt everywhere. Belt, 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 belt. So let's get back to it. So Sue Surf comes out today and he says, if you got 30 in your last battle, your opinion is void. Go practice. Practice? We talking about practice, not a game, not the, the, the sport that I laid down. We talking about practice. Practice? He's saying go practice. And first and foremost, when, he, when I read this original tweet, I was like, who could it be for? It could be a lot of people that Sue Surf has friction back and forth with. And this is all related to battle rap. This ain't no street shit. This ain't nothing like that. This is just battle rap. I was thinking, who could he be talking to? So I didn't know. You know what I mean? And um, then someone else said, can't believe Jack Boy said Sue Surf and Cortez first round was debatable. LOL, she wasn't even close. Surf danced all around Cortez. Surf responds and says, Jack Boy Maine don't even know what a main event feel like. I got 15 of them. Y'all worried about niggas who don't make it to the main stage. Opinion on that stage, it's okay. And then a female responded, and when he did make it to the main stage, John John threw his chain. Uh, so this is what he starts at. Surf is basically saying that People who can't make it to the main stage should not have an opinion about people who are on the main stage. It's always so crazy when it comes to battle rap because you got a certain amount of people who feel like, oh, bloggers, they never battle. They're not battle rappers. They should not have an opinion on battle rap. Then you feel, then you have the group of people who feel like battlers who are on this level should not get opinions from people who are on this level. And then you have the other group of people. Oh, if you're not there, you can't judge it. You wasn't in the, but guess what? All three different parties, whether it be the bloggers, the battle rappers up here, the battle rappers down there, they all have opinions. Everyone has their opinion, and guess what? A lot of people subscribe to the opinions of people who, A, don't battle at all, never, don't have no battles, and then there's people who do battle, like you have a Jims. Jims does a lot of views. Jims is a very strong YouTube channel, uh, and he battles. I don't battle. A lot of people watch this channel. A whole lot of motherfuckers watch this channel. So I never subscribe to the fact that people say, oh, if you don't battle rap, you, you shouldn't have an opinion. But he didn't say that. He was, he was talking about the battle rapper. So he says, Jack Boy Maine don't even know what main event feel like. I got 15 of them. Y'all worried about niggas who don't make it to the stage. Opinion on that stage. It's okay. And I, I don't know whether this comes from Jack Boy Maine speaking in the spaces. You know, they have all of these debates there. They debate everything there. Whether it be battles, who won, who should be a judge on ultimate. This person shouldn't be one because 
they, this person did, he judged on king of the dots, so why would he be able to judge over here? Or that person don't get along with this person, so why should they be able to judge? They, 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 they be in there all day. But anyway, so uh, he says, uh, you know, so Surf was responding to a homie that uh, said that he said that the first round was debatable. So then uh, someone else said, watch Jack next performance. I know dog gonna wild out. And then Surf says, his last one, he got 30 or you forgot. He was talking about the battle between Jack Boy Main and First Lady Flames. You know what I'm saying? Saying if you could, that's where this all led. This is how I knew where he was starting at with the whole, if you got 30 in your last battle, whoop de woo. So, uh, Surf then says, Midnight Madness aside, you still a main event band nigga. Like, calm down. Now he's starting to continue to go in on Jack Boy Main, who has turned his career around in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Ever since the John John battle, you know, he went down, he came back up, he turned his career around because one person was in the comments saying that when he did make it to the main stage, his chain got thrown in the crowd. Everybody knows about that moment, or whatever the case may be. So Sue Surf goes on to continue to, you know, poke and take shots at uh, Jack Boy Main, saying you a main event band nigga. I ain't even know what a main event band nigga was, but anyway, let's keep it moving. So, Jack Boy Main responds. I've main evented on URL, sir. So cut the malarkey. Your surfets be mad, but I said what I said. And then Jack Boy Main responds, you know what I'm saying? Um, as saying he's main evented on URL before, and he calls surf supporters his surfets because surf does have a lot of supporters and they will they will jump in your comments and they will be on you. So uh, surf then responds, like once with a bunch of nobodies on the card. Don't get too big for your sneaks, kid. You still ain't found a way to count yet. Doubt we'll see you on Gnome or Summer Madness unless URL trying to save some money. And then uh, it goes further. Uh, you know, they, they keep going back and forth. So Jack says, I've been contacted for Gnome already so you don't know what you speak of. Second, don't act like you don't know what's in store cause your Twitter surfets is here. You know how I get. It'll be World War, 59 on this app, so that uh, it don't matter. Cut it out, cause you know I matter more than, more than matter. Jack Boy Main writes in broken English. I don't know what kind of gang, 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 shit he be writing, but I read it to the best of my ability. He's basically saying he's been contacted for known, and he says that he counts big time. So then, uh, Surf goes on to say, matter to who, in what world, LOL. When they need to sell tickets or make money, Maybe they don't need content. Speak English, you gang banging hard as shit for Twitter. That's what I'm saying. It's because his language is all broken up. He's like taking the A's out, the B's out, the C's out. I don't know. So then Jack Boy Man says, I gang bang 59 hours a day, but you know this. And I'm definitely a draw in this sh And you know this, so don't downplay me to sound cute. He said, I'm a... I'm the nigga that you know, well, blah, 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 the copy, the King Von, grandson, whoop de -woo, I don't know. So then, Surf uh, goes on and posts Jack Boy Man's record, that's you. If ain't nobody told you, 485K, we do that in one battle. I guess this is all of uh, Jack Boy Man's reactions combined or whatever. And Surf was saying that he does Jack Boy Man's numbers in one whole battle. Uh, you know, and it kept on going, you know what I'm saying? So then Jack Boy Main posts Sue Surf's. Uh, 2.1 million view battle versus Charlie Clips. December 14th, what the f happened to Surf Day? Oh, he goes there. So since so Surf brings up Jack getting bodied by John John, Jack gonna bring up Surf getting bodied by Charlie Clips. That was a good, that, that's a good rebuttal. That's a good rebuttal to that. Jack says, Surf, this you 2.1 on the first cremation and celebrated holiday in battle rap. Charlie was John John before John John, and you was Jack Boy before Jack Boy. I'm the devil, you my grandson, remember that. Surf responds by saying, you'll never see them numbers. You got 12, you got battles with 12,000 views on the app. You still regular, just doing better since John John ended you. Uh, and then, you know, Surf went on to say, I get millions of views outside of battle rap. Why I gotta keep saying we different? No, you won't see another two million views on YouTube ever. And then Surf said, let's be clear. As far as Midnight Madness go, Jack, my right hand man. As far as battle rap, Jack's a child. Saying that, you know, he's basically a child when it comes to battle rap. What I will say is this, you know, 
I like the way that it ended with Sue Surf saying as far as Midnight Madness goes and they do have an event coming up this Friday the 20th in Philly Midnight Madness they do have a car going down uh, good luck to all of them sees this on that basically let them know that when it comes to Midnight Madness and putting together these events and giving people opportunities to battle he's a child like we not even you can't even compare what Jack Boy Maine does to what Sue Surf says that's what Sue Surf is saying I for one do respect the fact that Jack Boy Maine was able to turn his career around because when you lose a battle like he did versus a John John the Don, a lot of them niggas never come back. Like all the niggas that John John battled that he really, really bodied, like the Wavies and Preps and all of them niggas, they not even like, they not, they not bumping right now. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Niggas ain't cooking right now. And, you know, Wavy did have a spark. Wavy did start well, but he's just, he, I haven't seen him. I think the last time I saw him battling, was uh drugs and he lost that one too so um you know good luck to him and salute to everything that he's doing i think he like makes motivational videos and shit like that but uh salute to him you know everything he's got going on but back to jack so uh jack just had a battle with um first lady flames and then there was a two on two with him and first lady flames versus dna and official that you know happened on the card before and it hasn't come out yet there's a lot of content that hasn't really been released you got the whole event that just happened this weekend, and you got the whole event that was with Surf, Battle, Cortez on, and you got a lot of Kings versus Queens. Like, they like super backed up with content that has not released yet. And I don't know where the fine median is because when you have a lot of the battles that come out, usually be the battles that we saw on the events like the week before and all of that. So that's not really entertaining content because you just saw this shit. And then you have a lot of the battles that come out with niggas we never heard of. I promise you, niggas will open it, see that notification, and close it. It's like, yo, we're not paying for this, but that's a whole nother story. And there's nothing really exclusive there, so it's like, you know, we got it to support the culture, but if I was down and I needed to start cutting back on bills, that would probably be the first $8 that I would save because it's really not, it really ain't clicking like that. I'm just holding, I ain't gonna hold you. Um, Jack's main points in this was, you know, the whole YouTube thing. You're not gonna do do a surf set. Jack will never do two million on YouTube. Well, he won't because nobody's doing two million as far as like on URL because all of their content is just re released on the same app that I just told you about. The one that's just okay. Like it, there's no way to really track views anymore. You know, so you can't really use that. But you got MCs who come from the views era that will continue to use views. Like I did five million versus uh, conceded. Or I did three million versus this person and that person and so on and so forth but when it comes to what they got going on now you know Jack is uh talking heavy and then you know they was trying to say I don't believe this they was trying to say that you know he shouldn't have an opinion because you know Jack being the spaces he's got a big voice uh he got a lot of support and I rock with Jack Boy Maine too I love what he does um I like the way that he was able to turn his career around I don't be hearing a lot of these conversations because I'm not like in the spaces and all of that like it's not really a thing I'm not really into it so you know, I hear the conversations and I hear what comes out of them and we take it from there. But, uh, you know, salute to uh, both MCs. Uh, can't wait to see what Jack, and this is not like them potentially battling or them, this is just talking about status and where they are now. And Surf is gonna talk shit, cause Surf was talking shit even when he wasn't winning. When Surf was not winning battles, he was still talking just as much shit as he does now. Don't let this nigga, he starts winning. He done had four battles in a row and to me, he's won all four of them. I don't think Sue Surf has ever been on a four battle run like he's on right now. If I, I, I don't think so. I don't even remember four battles in a row where he brought three rounds. So for him to even do this at this level, I saw him asking recently uh, who should be next or whatever the case may be. Um, I think either Goods, and if it wasn't Goods, probably Danny Myers. I think Danny Myers does deserve that shot. Uh, Goods is obviously the big battle that would happen on like a summer man and so I know him on a big stage but if he if he's really feeling froggy going month for month for month for month for month trying to get another month in the bar guy would probably would definitely be a test I think honestly and this is just me it's not a narrative or anything I think bar guy would probably be his biggest test out of all of the MCs that he's faced and it's just because the amount of pressure and the things that Danny Myers can do when focused. But uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell.